Good afternoon. I'm Lloyd Robertson in Lake Placid with Bernie Pascal as we come forward for the big game. Uh, Bernie, I suppose Canadians are forever hopeful. Well, we're still looking forward to an exciting game today, Lloyd, and I think goaltending could be the Cree, as you, uh, you mentioned at the outset. Paul Pajot uh, obviously has had some super games for Team Canada. He's the key as far as Canada's performance today. And uh, I don't think they'll be blown out of the building at all. They'll skate with the Soviets. It should be an entertaining game. We're going now to Olympic Arena for Ron Roosh and Tom Watt and the commentary on Canada and the Soviet Union. Thanks very much, Lloyd. And let's take a look at your screen right now. There are a number of champions right there. On the right of your screen, Doug Risebrow. That's Doug Jarvis, Brian Angloom, and a fellow who played some pretty good goal for the Montreal Canadiens as well, Ken Dryden. And they are here to cheer Canada on. A tremendous amount of excitement there always is when Canada plays the Soviet Union. It's been a long period of frustration. The last time Canada defeated the Soviets in an Olympic game was back in 1960 at Squaw Valley when they won 3-2. to two. But since then, they they have been beaten uh, in uh, the Olympics of 64, 68, and then, of course, now we're back again after that 12-year absence. What's going to happen? Well, we should see. Tom? Well, uh, the secret to Canada's game is to, to do a good job checking. The Soviets have uh, the advantage of, of being a fast-breaking team, very aggressive team around your own net. Canada's game plan is to try to forecheck well, stop them from moving out of their own zone, put a lot of pressure on them, delay them as much as we can, try to force a mistake inside their own zone. There's the coach of the Soviets, Viktor Tikhanov, in goal for Canada will be Paul Pajot, the youngster from Shawinigan, Quebec, actually born in Gatineau, Quebec, but plays in Shawinigan with the cataracts there in the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League. And, of course, the very familiar... Number 20 for the Soviets, Vladislav Tretyak, who uh, is looking for his third Olympic gold medal here and has always been a thorn in the side of Canadian hockey teams. Spetisov out there to face off against Devani. Canada controls it from the face off and they clear it down and this game is underway. Deep inside the zone now for Canada. Around the boards, Devani. Devani behind the net, but he has checked on the play. Petrov on the far side is cleared out to center ice and down into Team Canada territory. Flipped off the boards on the far side. That's Randy Gregg, number four for Canada. He gets it out in front. Primo starts out. Goes off his stick, but now it's Devani at center ice. Devani's over the line. Devani he has checked just as he hit the line by Fedezov. Now at center ice, it's cleared all the way down into the Soviet end. Down there to touch it for the Soviets. Kazanov, he touches it. It's called. Icing will be the infraction and back into the Team Canada zone for the faceoff. Both teams making changes after only 33 seconds. And against the Soviets, when the pace is so quick in the hockey game, you can't have the team out there too long. You've got to make the quick changes. First change being made by both clubs after only 33 seconds. From the faceoff, it's cleared out to center ice past Star. Off. He goes back, just backpedaling, and then threw the puck away. Maxwell's down to the line, but he was checked again. Now to Barry on this side, but offside, as the player was trapped inside the blue line, so a face-off just outside the Soviet line. There's Ken Barry. He's had a pretty good Olympics, really. He is uh, four goals and one assist in the four games he played. Of course, had that hat-trick against the Dutch team. Barry, a youngster. Play with the U.S. Mr. Bruin, plays at Denver University now. Here's Barry over the line with it now. Barry into the corner. He falls in against the boards. After it is Maxwell, both behind the net. Fedosov has it for the Soviets. Fedosov, that long lead pass, and he put it right on the stick of McLean. Tries to get it in front of the net, and it knocks high into the air. And then Flukov gets it. Rolls it in front of his own net. There's Fedosov with a lot of pressure on him. Maxwell around the net, gets it out to center ice. McLean waits for Bates to get onside, then clears it over the line, but it's golfed right back out to center ice by Vasiliev. And down into his own end goes Spring. He'll touch it this called on the icing. We had a good example of Canada's type of forechecking. Canada today is going to forecheck two men deep, one man in the middle, and then there are two defensemen playing regularly on the point. And there was a good example there where the Soviet defenseman just turned and tried to throw that puck up through the middle. And Paul McLean was standing there just ready to trap him, got the opportunity just inside the Soviet blue line. But that one man has to take away the long pass. The face off inside the zone, and Golikov gets it into the corner. Ilya Letonov gets slammed in against the board, but it's cleared out to center ice. Now it is Alexander Golikov. He hits the line, but it's taken away there by Canada once again as Davidson makes the check and it's flipped in over the blue line. Now moving in after it is nil. He gets it in the corner. Glenn Anderson. Anderson trying to get a front. There's right score! Jim Nill has scored and Canada has taken the lead one to nothing. Great play in front of the net and a great shot. And listen to this arena as just erupted. 
Canada has the lead, 135 in. The play was really made coming out of the side, coming off the side by Glennie Anderson. Glennie controls the puck, throws it, the rebound comes off. Ronnie Davidson, Jim Nail just moving off the side, beats, uh, beats Vladimir Tretzak. Another look at it, Jim Nail controlling that puck inside. Davidson moving the puck back and through. Here's Jim Nail moving in. Jimmy Nail always uses the wrist shot, never slaps the puck. Great shot, Canada goes ahead one to nothing. Well, what a great start for Canada. Here's Peary, rink-wide pass. He goes deep into the zone, backboard for the Soviets. His pit is off, he clears it around the boards. Malsev digging it out, clears it out to center ice. At center ice, Dalvis loves it, knocks it down. And the puck is cleared inside the blue line. We'll get the official scoring on that in a couple of moments as Canada's in for checking. Peary's in there. Dalvis is in there as well. It goes around the boards. Fittisoff has it. Fittisoff, clearing it out to center ice. Now it's center ice. It's picked off by Canada. Anderson loses it. It's right in front of that. They shoot. And it's over top of the net. It's Pajol here to get a piece of that one. Now it's high in the air. They jam it in there. Puck is cleared in against the boards. Peary, Peary flipping it out into the crowd. And it's called for a face off. This is CTV, Canada's Olympic Network. It's in the Soviet zone, now cleared out to center ice, down over the line comes Petrov, but he is checked, is coming back to make the play there, was Don Spring, it's in the corner, cleared behind the net, Spring's got it, around to this side now, Hindmarch going in against the boards, that's Devaney in the corner, trying to pin it in there, and it uh, will be called for a face-off in the Canadian zone, the official scoring on that goal, Jim Neal from Davidson and Anderson at 135, there's the great Valerie Harlamov, many people will say he is in his final Olympics and perhaps his final appearance with the Soviet national team. I would I would suspect that whole line of Petrov, Harmelov, and Mikhailov, this may be their last hurrah. Face off to the right of the Canadian goal, taking the draw for Canada. Kevin Maxwell comes back to the blue line. There's the shot. It's just wide of the net and on the far boards now. After it is McLean, but he can't get it. It's taken by the defense. Joe Grant clearing it right wide up to center ice. Ken Berry racing after it, but meeting him to the puck is Billy Lentinoff. Now it's cleared over the line. Maxwell can't reach it. Billy Lentinoff goes back. He's behind the net. Clears it all the way around the boards and down into Team Canada territory. Terry from O'Malley's backboard. It'll be caught on the icing here and brought back into the Soviet zone. There's Joe Grant from Niagara Falls, Ontario. Kitchener Rangers this is where he played his junior hockey in the University of Toronto the last couple of years under our cohort here. Co-coach for the, Can uh, the Canadian team, Tom Watt. Well, Paul Peugeot had to make a great stop uh, when there was a mistake made by the Canadian defense all by themselves in front of the net. He just got that leg and stick over in time. Face off to the left of the Soviet goal. Maxwell's chased out of there, also chased out is Vladimir Golikov, one of two brothers, and his brother, Alexander, moves in. He'll take the draw against McLean from the faceoff now. McLean kicking it into the corner, races after it. He and Fedizov, and it's put behind the net. He'll dig it out in front now, it just flips into the netting at the side, and it's up in the netting, and finally it is whistled dead. We should mention here that the officials for this game, Jim Nagels of the United States, Marty Demers, and Jim Doyle, also of the United States, and if you... We're looking for any kind of a break at all, Tom. I think to have uh, three American officials in the game, at least you're used to what uh, the type of hockey, the, the type of game they call. Kenny Berry just uh, moving, trying to get Kazatinov away from him. He's wrapping them all up there, and that's one thing you can't do with Oop. the Soviets. Oop. Whoops, a little uh, spear there at the end, but you can't let them tie up inside and wrestle. You don't want to confront their strength. You want to back off a little bit, get into the opening, and try to get the shot. Don't stand in too deep and wrestle with them. There's Kenny Berry. All right, the faceoff will be to the left of the Soviet goal. For Canada, Ron Davidson taking the draw, and it goes past everybody out to center ice. Warren Anderson chasing it down on the boards on this side, fires it off the board. Because Adonoff takes it inside his own zone, clears it out over center ice, and it's knocked down out there by Randy Gregg. Popped over his stick, getting it is, on this side is Warren Anderson. He clears it along the boards at center ice now. Down go a couple of players. Makarov trying to control it. The big pile up against the boards in the middle of that is nil as well. And it comes back to Anderson. Glenn Anderson hoists it out to the blue line. Only well, tossed that one away. Now against the far board. Taking it for Canada is Ron Davidson. He gets it to Anderson. Anderson at center ice coming to the line now along with Nil. Nil has the goal. Tries to split the defense. But covering up very uh, alertly there was Penisoff. And he's got it on the far board. But Nil moves in. It comes away. And taking it away for the Soviets now against the boards on this side. It's Makarov. Makarov check. Davidson's in there. It's right in front of it. The shot is right off. The rebound. They shot it wide with an open 
Smith to shoot at. Peary's in the forecheck. He's got the puck right to roll it in front. Boy, Canada's been doing a great job forechecking. Puck is cleared to the far side now. Cleared down to the line. Knocked down. And the Soviets come to the line. It was knocked down with a high stick. And it'll be called for a face-off in the center ice area. Wow, what a chance for Canada. Brad Carey all by himself just blasted the puck wide, but the puck came loose. Makarov being loose with the puck inside his own zone. Brad Carey breaking all the way in, just a shot, just missing the edge of the net. And Glenn Anderson coming back with the rebound, just lifts the puck wide. Oh, what an opportunity with that open net, just lifts the puck wide. Play underway from the face off. It's down to the Soviet end again. Down there is Vasiliev. He goes into the corner after it, takes a shot from Carey. It's cleared around the board. As the blue line, Waters moving in, into the corner, Zupancic, he kicks it along the boards, controls it, and then uh, is checked again, and the Soviets come away with it, as clearing it up to center ice is Lebedev, but his long lead pass is intercepted by Spring, now checked on the far side there is, uh, for Canada, is Dalvis, and the Soviets come back in, but the check is thrown, here's a shot, and it just misses on the far side, that shot taken from just inside the blue line by Krutov. Now the Soviets control it inside Team Canada territory. Maltsev along the boards. It comes up to the blue line. Still kept in. Fired into the corner. After there is Lebedev. Lebedev takes a check by Dalvis. It's rolled out in front. There's nobody there. Maltsev dropping it off to the blue line. There's the shot. It drifts wide. Taken by Stelikov from the blue line. Now Spring shooting it down the ice to take the pressure off. It misses the Soviet net. So we'll have icing here. As back to get it is Stelikov. This is CTV, Canada's Olympic Network. From the face off, the puck is in the corner. Canada trying to come away, and here they come. Up the center ice comes Canada with Joe Grant leading the rush. He hits the line. Grant working for the corner now, getting a man in front, but he's ridden in against the boards by Billy Lettenhoff, and out at center ice, it's the Soviets. In over the line now, Harlemov, he's behind that. Rolls it out in front, the loose puck, and Pasho goes down, and he holds on. one nothing. Canada is leading. official Jim Nagels, an interference call on David Heinmarsh, uh, coming back, back checking on uh, Mikhailov, he put a little bit of a clutch on him, and Mikhailov uh, took a little bit of a dive after, I don't think he really had to take the dive, but he was grabbed, trying to get in the play as the third man, and the back checker not going to let him, the Soviets get that odd man advantage, the shot coming just off the edge of the net, after the uh, infraction being called, Paul Peugeot forced to make an excellent save, and that's what Canada has to have, the good ball tending to be going to be successful today. It's 6 8 Canada leading one to nothing. The Soviets on the power play. In the corner it goes. Controlling it is Golikov. They have the two brothers out there. Behind the net, that's the other Golikov, Vladimir. Out in front, it's hoisted out to the blue line. Kept in by Fedosov at the blue line. He's working the point positions along with Kazadinov. Fedosov with the puck over to Kazadinov. In deep now, taking it is Makarov. Makarov circling into the corner. The two Golikovs are out in front of the net. It's back out to Kazadinov. Here's the shot in front, and it's deflected away by Randy Craig. Now, over on the far side, Alexander Golikov out in front for Victor Golikov. Puck goes down, it's loose in front, and Canada clears it away as Randy Craig got his stick on it and shot it down the ice. 117 remaining in the penalty. Behind his own net, Fedosov. He leaves it for Golikov. Vladimir Golikov on his way out of the zone. The pass is to his brother Alexander. Over the line. Stops up in against the board. Clears it out to the blue line. Kazanov, number seven, has it. Puts it into the corner. Canada gets it. Gives it along the boards. Anderson, Glenn Anderson, in against the boards. Trying to control it, but unable to. It's back to the blue line. Makarov is there. He flips it over for Kazanov. Kazanov checked, and Anderson takes it. Anderson can't control it inside the blue line. Here's a chance. And a good save there by Fajor. Puck is rolled down the ice as getting it inside the zone was Primo and he shot it down right on the Soviet goal. Puck is cleared Rick wide. We've got 35 seconds left in the power play. Over the line come the Soviets. Carry the puck is Makarov. He's chased in against the board. The puck is cleared up to the blue line. Vitisov. Vitisov rolling it over for Skluka. Over to the far side. That's Makarov. Back out to Vitisov. Vitisov winding up. There's the shot. Rebound and it's picked up by Canada. Fired off the glass and down the ice. 14 seconds left in the power play. And the Soviets and Canada both change on the fly. Now it's Pitisov. Feeds it off. Coming out of his end. Schwartzov. Schwartzov out over center right. Barry takes it, but he's unable to control it. It's in against the boards. Out to the blue line now. The penalty has ended. Buck is rolled in front. Canada's trying to get it out. Kept in by Pitisov. He shoots it in near the 
Harry in front of the net and getting down on his knees and covering it up is Waters, and he'll hold it for the faceoff. Paul Darris in the middle of your picture there along with Spring. And the faceoff will be to the right of the Canadian goal. David Heinmarsh coming right off that bench, and when uh, Tim Waters was trying to cover up, just made sure that the Soviet player, Balderas, wasn't able to shove that puck underneath him and get the opportunity just going right through him. Peugeot all by himself here now. The first stop, great stop, the rebound. He got help to arrive to ice that puck after that great stop off the edge of the crease. Well, it killed off the penalty. Canada leading one to nothing on a goal by Jim Neal. It's cleared off the boards. Barry can't control it. Against the boards, they get it up to center ice. Turning with it is Balderas, one of the quickest men in world hockey. He tried to get around O'Malley, and O'Malley did a good job of playing the man on that one. They knocked Balderas down. Now Canada coming out. It's cleared right wide by McLean. Racing it after it is Barry, and it's called on the icing. In fact, to touch it before Barry can reach it is Vasilia. And he'll come back down for a faceoff to the Canadian end. Well, there's an example of a little excitement uh, by the Canadian team. Just throwing that pass a little too soon, making the long, difficult pass when the easy one could be made. Just take your time. Don't force those passes. Make the easy play. Don't try to make the difficult one. We saw a close up on the bench of Kevin Primo, graduate of the University of Alberta. He's an Edmonton boy. Face off will be to the right of Pajo. And Kevin Maxwell will take the draw. You hear the shy boo, which is, of course, that Soviet word for puck. The chat here in the rink. Buck is kept just at the line. Here's a quick shot off the stick glove of uh, Pajo. In against the boards. After it there for Canada's McLean. He can't get it. out in front of the net now. They try to get a shot away. And it's cleared away by the defense. Keeping it in at the blue line is Perhukin. And now oh, just chopping away at it. A lot of checking going on. Here's a chance for Maltsev. That went off and stick it up into the crowd. No, it didn't. It hit the glass behind the net. Now it's in the corner. Maltsev taking a rough ride in there from Kevin Maxwell. Now out of front. And Maltsev with a great chance. And it's cleared away and out to center ice. Here comes Barry. And Barry had a roll off his stick. Great chance there for Maltsev. But Pajot was equal to that one. Now over the line. Comes Maltsev once again. Maltsev trying to get set. Takes a shot. And it rolls to the side of the net. Grant. Grant goes down. Puck is clear to the blue line. It's poked into the corner after it is Lebedev. Grant goes in against the boards as well. Also Maxwell. And everybody over skates it up the blue line. Billy Lebedev winding up the shot. And it went off the leg there as O'Malley went sprawling to block it. Now Canada clearing it off the glass and down the ice into Soviet territory. And Billy Lebedev will go back to touch it. And it's called on the icing for a faceoff back uh, in the zone of Team Canada. Don't forget, tonight, we'll have Olympic highlights for you following the late news. And I think we've got... I missed something, Tom. Well, you missed just a tremendous, a tremendous check with both players. There was young Krutov taking a run at Joe Grant. Joe got his stick and arm up at the last minute. There was an awful collision behind the net. We'll have highlights following the late news tonight. Olympic highlights of speed skating, cross-country skiing, and the women's giant slalom from this morning. And, of course, hockey. That's following the national news tonight. Now it's taken from the face off by Spring. Spring. Anderson out to center ice. That lead pass went right by Stan Delvis. And is cleared back into Team Canada territory. Here's the chance for the Soviets as they work in. Harlamov. Harlamov trying to get in front of the net. But coming back and making the check is Fury. Now hit against the boards. It's flipped along the boards. Delvis has bounced it out in front of the net. And after it on the far side, now is Fury. Fury at center ice. He gets it up against his chest. The Soviets get control of it again. Harlamov over the line. Harlamov trying to make a move on the net. And the puck just rolls to the side of the net. He's in there as well as Mihailov. Mihailov back to the blue line. Finisov. He shoots it in there. It's loose in front of the net. But it's poked away by goaltender Paul Pajo. Mihailov in the corner. Check thrown on Petrov. The sentiment on this veteran line. Now Mihailov. Number 13. Back out to the blue line. Finisov. Here's the shot. It drifts wide of the net. And bounces up into the crowd. And it's called for a faceoff. Penalty going to be called by Jim Nichols again. Canada going to be short to Randy Gregg. Randy Gregg coming over to the box along with referee Nagels. Uh, a hook is going to be the call. We see the action in front of the net. Warren Anderson is trying to stop the, the original shot. Paul Peugeot being in. And uh, Randy Gregg saying, well, what am I doing? Look, there's the arm going up. 10.47 the time of the penalty. Greg off for hooking. Shots on goal at this point. 8-3 to three favor the Soviets. They've had some good chances, but Pajo has made some great stops early in this game. Face off of the outside. Canada's blue line. They're playing shorthanded for the second time, but they leave 1-0 on 
from Jim Nill's goal at 135 of the first period. On the faceoff, inside the blue line now, picked up and cleared down the ice by Spring. Back to get it for the Soviets, Hervukin. Hervukin working along with Makarov. And Makarov gets that pass from Golikov. And it's poked away and back into the zone again. Vilya Litvinov over to the far side for Pervukin. Around the net comes Golikov. He drops it off. Vilya Litvinov behind the net. Vilya Litvinov ahead. Golikov. This is Victor Golikov. It's center ice to his brother, Alexander, over the line. Cuts to the corner. Trying to find his point man. Winds up in the corner with it. Alexander Golikov clearing it to the far court for Pervukin. In against the boards, Alexander Golikov. He tried to clear it in front. Here's a catch for Canada. It went off, or at least for the Soviets, but it went off a leg and into the corner. Now against the boards on this side, and a good hard collision in against the boards involving Glenn Anderson and Billy Litvinov. Now the Soviets again try to come out. It's fed back for Perbukin. We've got 59 seconds remaining in the penalty. Over to the far boards now. Over skating the puck is Golikov. Canada gets possession of it. Out at center ice for Canada. That's Waters. Waters waiting for Mates to get on the ice. Now clears it along the boards. Primo. Primo in for checking, but controlling the puck for the Soviets. Ilya Lentinov. He gets it over to this side for, for Perbukin. Perbukin can't get out of the zone. It's dropped off for Makarov with 34 seconds left in the penalty. Makarov is over the line. Makarov cutting for the far boards. Now Lebedev looking for that pass around the boards, and he gets it on this side. Out in front of the net. It's taken a into the corner again. The Soviet just skating around with it now. That's Rudolph. Rudolph onto the blue line. Vasilyev winding up. There's a shot and it drifts wide of the net with Rudolph right in front. Now to the far side. Kept in by Starikov. Into the corner it goes with 10 seconds left of the power play. Taking it now is Rudolph. Rudolph trying to get it out in front. Gives it to Lebedev. Out to the blue line. Just keeping it in there with Starikov. And the penalty has expired. Great by getting back into the play now. Here's the shot. It's blocked into the fence. Comes over to this side, shot into the corner, and Canada has successfully killed off the penalty. Now into the corner on the far side. For Canada, that's Primo jamming in there. Here comes Canada with Randy Gregg. The lead pass, breaking down on the left side. Heinmark keeps over the line, and the puck is cleared up by the Soviet defense. Back in over the line for the Soviets, that's Lebedev. He tried to get a shot away, and then it dropped it. There was nobody there. Intercepted by Heinmark at center ice. It's O'Malley. He winds up from center ice. It's blocked by Trenchak, and cleared behind the net. For the Soviets, Vasilyev. Vasilyev clearing it out to center ice. It just dropped off there. Down over the line comes Rudolph. He gets the shot away. The rebound is cleared out to center ice. And knocking it down out there is Starikov. He feeds it back to Vasilyev. Vasilyev out over center ice now. Carrying the puck is Schwarzoff over the line. Schwarzoff for the man in front. That rolls it in front. They score. The puck is passed, passed by Schwarzoff in front of the net. And the Soviets have evened this hockey game up. Schwarzoff breaking wide. Just threw the puck into the pile in front of the net. And whether it touched Balderas or one of uh, Canada's men going in trying to cover him. We see Schwarzoff going wide on the one-on-one -on -one situation. He just throws it over. And there we see two defenders that may have got off the back checker coming back. Whether or not Balderas touched it or not, I'm not sure. There's the lot pass just coming across. Two Canadian players checking on Balderas with the puck going in behind Peugeot. We'll have to wait for the official announcement. Sportsoff will obviously get a point on it. It's a 1-1 tie here as the puck is cleared into the corner. After it, it's cleared down the ice. There'll be icing on this one if it has enough juice. It does. It goes down. Finisoff will be touching it. But the icing is waved off. They felt he could get to it before it crossed the red line. So now it's Kazatidov. It's center ice over the line. Now down into the corner. Sportsoff in the corner after it. The jam in there comes to the area in front of the net. Rolls right into Pajot, and he holds it. We'll have a face-off in the Canadian zone. Helmut Baldera scoring the goal. Another look at it. Sportsov just lo lo lobbing that puck across in front of the net. And we still don't see who touches it, whether it went off the uh, Canadian defender coming back at Balderas or whether Balderas was able to get a stick on it. We're not sure, but getting credit for the goal, Helmut Balderas. And the assists on it, Schwarzoff and Schlutov. Schlutov setting it up, of course. Face off to the left of the 
Canada goal. There's a shot, a screen shot too. Just kicked away by Pajuam in the far boards now. Anderson, Glenn Anderson, gets it out to center ice. Anderson chasing after it as he comes to the line, but coming back to make the check on him. That was Petrov. Petrov at center ice, hitting the line. Petrov over for Mahalov. He gets to the side of the net, but he had a short side, a bad angle to shoot at. And it winds up against the board for Harlemov. Shot from the blue line by Fairwukin. It's blocked. Here's Fairwukin again. The shot comes right in. Here's a chance for Petrov. Rolls in front of the net, and down goes Spring. And it's underneath him, and he holds it for the face on. Well, Team Canada doing a good job defending, but this is the problem with taking the penalties. Canada has taken two penalties early, and what you do is you get yourself in a mindset. You have to defend. Here's Johnny Spring just sprawling in front of that shot, bringing it under him to kill it. But your mindset then is in defense. Defense, you're defending all the time. Now Team Canada's even, and it's tough enough to trying to get back on the attack again and trying to put some pressure on the Soviets. There you see Boris Mahalov, another veteran who has been... Well, his first Olympics, 1972. He's looking for his third gold medal as a hockey player. Now from the faceoff, Terry O'Malley. Very good out to center right. Shots on goal, by the way. 14 to 3 favor the Soviets. Capaggio has been busy. It's a 1 1 tie at center ice. It's fed back into the Soviet end. There it's taken by Vasiliev. He gets it out to Makarov. Makarov over for Starikov, the defenseman. He gets to the line now, trying to fight his way through, and he is bumped off the puck by O'Malley, who came across. And against the boards on this side now, it's Canada trying to come out. It's center ice, over skating the puck is Heinmark. In against the boards, it comes down into the Soviet end. Back is Vasiliev, along with...